everyone and welcome back to the Derivative Snippets with Shilpa. In the previous series of videos, we have learnt about why do we use derivatives, what leverages we infer from derivatives and understanding of different parameters like PCR, open interest and volatility to understand the sentiment and the direction of the market or any particular stocks that we deal with. From this particular series of videos that we are going to start, we will start learning different sort of option strategies. Option strategies like we all know are popularly used to hedge uh, our investments and uh, we have certain leverages when dealing with options also because the premium paid in comparison to futures or the cash equity market is very less and we equally participate in the entire market with a very small amount paid. To start with today, I'll uh, make you understand the very basic or probably the first option strategy that we often hear here about the vanilla options. Like we already have discussed earlier that there are two types of trades in options that is call option the CE and the put options the PE. So when we buy a call option that is CE or sell a put option that is PE, we infer that the sentiment is bullish in nature. Vice versa, when we buy a put option that is a P or uh, sell a call option that is a C, we understand the sentiment is very bearish. So plain vanilla option strategy is nothing but when buying a call option bullish in sentiment and then buying a put option when bearish in sentiment. Coming to the next part is understanding the different strike prices that we often see in options trading and to understand which strike price to enter and how to enter. So there are three terminologies particularly used in option trading that is ITM, the in the money, OTM, out of the money and ATM that is at the money. ATM is the current market price, the strike price is closer to the current market price that is CMP is ATM. ITM is the strike prices that are within the current market price and OTM is the strike prices that are beyond the current market price. These terminologies are going to be very helpful to understand because in coming videos when we start learning about different sort of strategies that are more complex in nature, we use these terminologies a lot. So that's it from me now. Uh, so please wait for the coming videos wherein we will start learning about more option strategies.